these have the same warnings as the other um inosuke part but i'm just gonna say it here just in case you haven't seen it um being bitten or biting kink rape unconditional kissing and this one's a new one slight gore but anyways let's get on you let out a small groan your eyes open as you sat up fuck you cursed as you looked around you couldn't tell if this room you were in was inosuke's bedroom it was too clean too peaceful no this isn't the word normal it looks so normal his room had posters of wrestlers and some badass superheroes the color of his room was dark blue with a white ceiling his room was dimly lit you assumed it was nighttime now you looked down to see your clothes and body were still the same state as before which was dirty you let out a small sigh of relief that he, he didn't touch you or attempt to change your clothes. Fuck, 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 fuck. You cursed as you tried not to cry. You inhaled and exhaled, trying to calm down. Your body trembled a little out of fear. You look, looked around, looking for any windows, but there wasn't any. You slowly got up, walking straight to the, his desk to find anything useful. You couldn't find anything. All you could find were some creepy letters of him saying how much he loves you. There were m multiple letters that just spilled out all over his desk. You didn't bother reading it all and looked through the drawers, but there wasn't anything useful. Shit. Should I just risk it? Sh I should just run out of the fucking door and never le never look back, but no, that's dumb. Inosuke can run faster than me, you mumbled, hell-bent on escaping him. You quickly walked up to the door, slowly turning the doorknob as the door swung open without a creak. You gulped as soon as your eyes were met with darkness. It was now nighttime. The light from the moon wasn't enough to light up the hallway. You mentally cursed. You slowly stepped outside his bedroom at the end of the hallway was nothing but darkness. Your mind was playing tricks on you, thinking that Inosuke is at the end of the hallway, waiting for you. You gulped, reassuring yourself he wasn't even there. Panic and fear mixed with your thoughts were good, weren't good, sorry, and only filled you with fear. It didn't take long before you could finally got to the stairs. You could see some light downstairs. Inosuke was definitely downstairs. But where? You took a deep breath before slowly going down the stairs. You swear you could hear your heart beating out of your chest. It felt suffocating. Your mind was filled with fear, anxiety, and panic. Your chest felt like you felt chest tight, like you could barely breathe. That was bad. You didn't want to breathe so loudly. Your mind kept racing with many thoughts, and it wasn't helping you. Calm down. Your trembling hands clenched the walls as you slowly walked down the stairs. Your body ran cold as soon as your feet were on the last step, too afraid to take a peek as to where Inosuke might be. You placed your palm on top of your chest, a small attempt on trying to calm yourself. As soon as you managed to calm it down a little, you took a peek, a small peek. Inosuke seemed to be inside the kitchen. Well, since there was a light coming from the door, you slowly walked towards the front door. As soon as you got close to the front door, you froze. The front door has two padlocks on it. Where? Where the hell would you even be able to find two fucking keys? You started to panic again. Your breathing is starting to become erratic. Your heart stopped as soon as you heard a creak. You whispered, Oh, you whipped your head to see the door from the kitchen slowly opening. You frantically look around and saw the stairs to the basement near you. You had no choice but to rush there. You covered your mouth as you slowly opened the door to the basement. It was dark, but you didn't hesitate to go inside. As soon as you closed the door, you leaned against it, closing your eyes as you kept your hand on your mouth, your body trembling in fear. What if you got caught and Nosuke is just 
giving you false hope? What if he finds you? What if he, 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 wait, wait, if there was something in the basement? The smell. Oh, the horrible fucking smell. It filled your senses and you hated it. It made you feel nauseous. Your head felt so dizzy. The fear, the panic, the horrible stench, and how pitch black the basement was. It was all too much. You were shocked you were still standing. Shocked that you had fainted or had a mental breakdown. Every second feels like minutes, and every moment felt like hours. You didn't, or you don't know how many minutes you've been in this basement, but you hadn't heard anything. A door closing or anything, even footsteps. What if he was behind the door? No, no. You assured yourself that he wasn't. You didn't dare go outside the basement. You opened your eyes to only be met with pitch black. There was no light, no anything. You let out a small whisper, a whimper. You hated the darkness. Your hand touched the wall, looking for any light switch. You didn't feel anything, just the wall. No, fuck. Don't tell me I have to go downstairs. You mumbled, st- starting down the stairs. You couldn't see what was even down there. You gulped and your hands touched the walls as you carefully walked down the stairs. You didn't know how long the stairs were and what even is in the basement. The more you look, the more you walked down the stairs, the more you could smell the horrible stench. It was so familiar yet. You couldn't pinpoint what it was. It didn't take long before you reached the bottom. You frantically looked for a light switch, but he felt like something was very, very wrong with his, his basement. You hated it. That groaning feeling of anxiety. You felt your fingers gaze on something. Like skin. But you ignored it. Your hands and fingers trembled. Even more as you touched looked for a light switch. As soon as you found it, you quickly switched the lights on. You couldn't let out a sigh of relief as... Click. I'm... Scream. You let out a blood-curdling scream. You knew there was something wrong with this basement. And you were right. That foul scent. The f- it was so familiar because that was Miyaku's smell like in the basement of Tanjiro. There were rotting heads of students from school. You knew some of them. They were the ones that bullied you, harassed you. Their their decapitated heads were on the shelf to the right. That's what you felt. That's what your hand touched. Touched that felt like skin. It hurt you. Some of them didn't even have any eyes. And... And their brown, dry blood was even on the floor. The color of their skin and hints of green, indicating that they've been here for a long time. Their heads have been rotting here for a long, long time. You watched in horror as a rat was inside an eye socket, nibbling on the scapula like it was the best meal it ever had. Another head didn't even have a jaw anymore. It was replaced by maggots feeding off its face. You could see the exposed flesh from the cheek. You leaned against the wall, your breath erratic. You couldn't breathe probably properly. You clenched your shirt as your vision started to blur. blur. You were feeling nauseated and lightheaded. You couldn't even think of the circumstances of screaming so loud. Inosuke heard you. He'll be down in here in no time. And you, you, you didn't know what he'll do to you. He'll hurt you. He'll punish you. He might break your legs so you wouldn't be able to escape anymore. Or he'll kill you and place your decapitated head on a shelf like a fucking trophy. Thud. Your unconscious body fell to the floor. It was all too much for you. You fainted. Not even a minute was passed and the basement door opened. Revealing Inosuke, who rushed to your conscious body. Ian? Fuck. Did did she fuck? She tried to escape. To who? There's only me and her in this world. Already killed Blake and Docky. She has no one but me. 
Why, why, why the hell would you even try to escape in? He asked as, you, as he held your unconscious body. Time skip. You slowly woke up and soon as you saw familiar blue and white colors, you knew... Sorry. You knew you were back in Inosuke's room. You slowly sat up and you could hear the high pitch clinging. Wait, you looked to see a chain on your leg. It was tied to the post of the bed. Your eyes widened in shock. Finally awake, your breath hitched as soon as you heard Inosuke's voice. He walked inside the room, walking closer to you with an unreadable facial expression. Your breathing quickens the more he got close to you. Why? Why do you seem to be so scared of me? He asked, his facial expression showing pain. He didn't re reply. He sat on the bed and leaned closer. His hands rest on your thighs. No. Do you? Do you not love me? Is it because of that older man you fuck? He asked, referring to Yurichi. What? Who are you even? You are cut off by him as he grips on your on your thighs, tightens. Inosuke glared at you. Don't even lie to me. I know you screw that guy. Is he your type? Huh? He asked, the tone of his voice a little threatening. You quiver in fear. I don't even know who you are. Before you could even finish your sentence, Inosuke grabbed the collar of your shirt and pulls you into a kiss. The weight of his body on you, making you lay on the bed as he was to on top of you. His kiss felt needy and obsessed. With your both your bot with sorry, with both your teeth clenching, it was uncorroborating. You couldn't even push him away as his hand slid up to the back of your head, making sure you wouldn't be able to pull away from the kiss. You couldn't even bite him to stop the kiss, and even if you could, you were too scared to do it. He forcefully shoves his tongue inside your mouth. You let out a small whimper as it wasn't from pleasure. He took that indication, oh, invitation to be to do more. His other hand roamed your body, sliding under your shirt. You could feel his hand against your bare skin, and it was disgusting to you. Just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, you felt something hard pressing against your thigh. You tried wiggling or trying to kick him, but his body was pressed against yours, so he was heavy too. He wouldn't even budge. You could feel the tip of his fingers touch the hem of your bra, moving the cup as his hand touched your breast, tears trickled from your eyes. This was disgusting. Fucking disgusting. He was touching you. Kissing you. You hated it. You hated it so much. His kisses became more rough, like he was trying to devour you whole. You couldn't even breathe before the kisses. And you felt like you were running out of air. You started smacking his chest, wanting him to pull away from the kiss. After a few seconds, he did. His, bre his breathing was heavy as he looked at you with lust-filled eyes. Your breathing was sporadic as you looked at him with fear-ridden eyes. Your breath hitched as you felt him grope your chest. Your hands quickly wrapped around his wrist, trying to remove it, but he didn't budge. He leaned closer to your face. What? Why are you acting like this? Doesn't he t also touch you like this? Tell me, who touches you better? He asked. You didn't respond as your body trembled in anger and fear. You were about to feel you were about to use your feet to try and kick him, but it seemed like he knew what you were thinking and stopped it by using his other hand. You tried your best not to cry, to sh not to show fear as you glared at him. His facial expression was cold, and it seemed like he, would, like he wouldn't have any remorse for what he was about to do next. He removed his hands from your chest, and his hand held both your wrists, pulling it above your head. Your eyes widened. It was all so fast. You started squirming, moving around, trying to remove his grip from your wrists. He let out a growl as your other hand was 
as his other hand was on your hip. You could feel his tight grip on your hip as he tried to hold you still. Stop moving, he threatened as he whispered into your ear. You couldn't stop your tears as they start stop as you stopped moving, afraid that he might hurt you. He leaned to your neck, and your blood co- cold, ran cold as he felt his lips on your neck. You thought he was going to leave kisses, but you were oh so wrong. You let out a small yelp as you felt his teeth on your neck, biting it gently. It wasn't even it was enough to leave bite marks. Mine, he mumbled. You let out a small whimper in pain. It always it always wasn't from the pleasure when he hears your whispers. He took it as a sign of getting of you getting pleasure. You could hear him mumble, Mine, only mine from time to time. It creeped you out. He's a weirdo, a fucking creep. He continued leaving bite marks and soon you could feel him bite even harder. Cursing you to yelp out in pain. What? You Inusuke, just just fucking stop. You sobbed, letting out hiccups from all the tears. He didn't listen, though, and continued. A shiver went down your spine as you felt him lick the bite marks he left. He's a fucking weirdo. A fucking psychopath. He soon stops, and you let out a small... A mental sigh of relief. You could hear the sound of his zipper being pulled down, and you could see Inosuke removing his pants. You could see the dent in his boxers, and it scared you. You knew what it was going to do. You panicked, fiddling your arms and legs as he, you cried harder. Was He was annoyed by your attempt to stop him, but it was also made him sad. Weren't you supposed to love him now? His love for you was so pure. He kissed you. He protected you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He managed to get a hold of your wrist. His grip on you tightened. That made him break it. Stop it. Stop resisting. Don't you love me? You love me. Of course you do. Just, you just don't realize it yet. He hissed. Your temp slowly died down. He pulled his boxer's down his boxers revealing his hard length pre-cum already oozing out of his tip and slowly dripping down his shaft his breathing was slow and heavy he seemed excited his fingers were on the hem of your shorts pulling down your shorts leaving your panties on he slowly pushed the cloth away he looked at your cunt in awe this is what he's been waiting for what he always wanted he always fantasized about this. Your body jolts as the feel of his thumb rubbing across your clit, rubbing slow circles before stopping. Your sobs were getting louder. Your chest felt tight. You let out a sharp inhale as soon as you felt him rub his tip against your slit. His hand wasn't holding you down. Oh, wasn't holding you down. Made you spread your legs even more. When he started pushing his tip inside, the sun st- st- burned. It, it didn't feel good. He didn't even bother preparing first. You hated it. It hurts. It hurts. It burns. Stop it. You know, skate. Stop it. Please. Why? Why is this happening to me? I, I, I feel disgusted. I feel disgusting. I, why? What, is, what did I do wrong? What did I do to deserve this? To be used as some sort of object. I don't feel clean. I'm not clean. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Nosuke stops this. Sight wasn't what he and fantasized for. You were supposed to be enjoying this. Instead, your cheeks were wet and your eyes were red from tears. Your body trembled as you didn't even bother facing him. He pulls out and removes his hand from your wrist. You were confused. Was he about to do something much worse? You looked to see Inosuke with guilt-ridden facial expression. I'm sorry, Ian. I'm sorry. His tone was gentle as he lays his head on your chest, wrapping his arms around you, practically hugging you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I was just jealous. I got angry. You looked so scared when all I wanted to do love you my only intentions is to love you he buried his face into your neck as he said that 
but you didn't respond. He started leaving gentle kisses on your on your on your fingers. I love you, Yin. I love you so much. So so much. He whispered as you didn't reply. You felt nothing for him. I just want you to love me. Love me. Love me. Love me. Love me, Yin. He says his tone a little more aggressive. I won't do anything bad to you again. I won't push you to do something. Please don't hate me. He mumbled as you hu- as he hugged you tighter. You didn't respond. You didn't even want to say anything to him. There was a moment of silence, and you could feel Inosuke's hard length pressing against your bare thigh, his breathing jagged. Just please help me this one time, Yin. I won't push you to have sex with me. Just please help me reveal some tension on my cock. He whispers. He pulls away from you and and hug and grabs your hand, leading them to his shaft. Just touch me, please, he begged. You looked at him with pure disgust and anger. But he, but did you really have a choice? You were stuck with him now. He'll never let you go. He'll never ever allow you to kill yourself. You're stuck here with him. Until you grow old, you decide to accept your fate. Maybe, just maybe, he'll keep his word and won't do anything sexual with you after this. You start to touch him. You really hated it. You hated touching him. The feeling of his his cock is just, it made you feel so fucking disgusting. You could hear his breathing go heavy as he let out a small groan. You didn't dare do anything bold. He, he could hurt you and you were scared of that. You didn't want to die and by his hands. You continued to pump his aching cock, his hips rocking up and down, trying to gain more pleasure from this. He was already moaning and groaning as by just your touch. And right there, he groaned. You could feel him trembling already. You knew he was about to come. Not even a second, and he already came. Ian. He moaned your name as he bit his lip. He seemed sp- he se- his semen spilled all over your thighs and hands. You grabbed, you gagged, but held back your puke. You were thankful that he did it so fast. He suddenly hugs you. Mm, you touched me. You made me come. That means you're already falling for me, right, Ian? His voice was bur- breathly from his orgasm. No, you. You were cut off. You love me. His voice was threatening. Why else? Would you do that for me? I love you so much, Yin. You're so precious to me. My love for you is pure. I give it all to you, Yin. He added, I respect your wishes, Yin. That's what a good lover does. I'll be good. I'll be your good lover and husband. I can't wait to spend my life with you now that you accepted me. Inosuke with an unhinged smile.